Hey guys, sorry it's been taking me so long to make another video. Last week was spring break and I was crazy busy the whole time. And I want to tell you something that I got to do over spring break, and that is the Phantom of the Opera at the Music Hall in Kansas City. It was amazing. The guy who played Phantom is the first and only actor to both play the Phantom and Jean Verjean from Les Mis on Broadway. So you can imagine how fantastic he was. And the girl who played Christine, phenomenal, terrific. I got goosebumps and I cried when she sang Wishing You Were Somehow Here Again. Not just because it's a sad moment where she's singing about her dead father, but because it was so good. And the costumes were phenomenal, and the set was amazing. And this is a touring show, and they have to have like eight or nine trucks to carry all this stuff that they had. They actually had a chandelier drop over the audience. Uh, what else did they have? The masquerade costumes were amazing. One of the chorus members was dressed up like the monkey holding symbols that they have on the music box, and she was having so much fun. Raul was fantastic. The um, managers of the opera, they were terrific. One of them, Andre, he was just really happy to be there and really cheerful. And he just every time he came out on stage, he smiled because he was all, I'm so glad I'm here. So it was fantastic. And so the two parts that I cried was is that song that I mentioned before and the curtain calls. I know that that's ridiculous, crying during the curtain call, but just seeing the appreciation that they got and just how much fun they were having. I want to do this so bad. I was bawling like a little girl. Like, not like, <gasps> but like lots of tears. And I was the first person to stand up. I stood up for the chorus, for the ensemble, because no one ever appreciates them as much. And having been in a show where the ensemble felt, I felt like they did a lot more than I did, I really appreciate that, and I've been in the ensemble, and no one ever gives standing out until the leads come out. So I stood up, and I was the only one standing for the majority of the time until the speaking roles started coming out, and then more people started standing up. But I was the only one standing that I could see, and so I was sticking out to begin with because I was standing up. But on top of that, I was crying. So it was fantastic for me to be standing up and bawling like a baby in front of the entire music hall. But it was worth it because that's fantastic. And if the chorus sees that one person standing up and crying and appreciating everything they did, I hope I hope that they did sing me so that they know that they touched someone. And it's still there. Still at the music hall for the next week, I think. So, or maybe not. Yeah, the next week, at least. So if you have the chance, go see it. I was lucky enough to be in the 10th row and it was only $75 a ticket for the 10th row. So definitely, you know, search the internet for cheap tickets and get in there because it's fantastic. The um, scene where they're on the water, the boat, it had to be on a track or something. I don't know, but it moved so smooth. It was just like they were on water and there was mist over the stage so it looked like water. And candles came up out of the floor. I don't know how they did it. It's fantastic. Like, the, the set and the technology, it just amazes me. I spent the whole time, how are they doing that? That is amazing. So, you know, theater magic. And then another part that really amazed me is at the end, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, at the end, um, when the guys are coming down to capture the Phantom, he sits down on his on his big throne thing and he throws his cape over him. So he's hiding under his cape. And then Meg comes over to pull the cape off of him. And like he's still under there. You can see his outline under the cape. And she pulls it off and he's not there anymore. And it's just the mask and they have the spotlight on the mask. And I literally went, because oh, I had no idea that I just figured he was just going to be there. Like he was like dead or asleep or something. But he was gone. <laughs> and I still can't figure out how they did it because the the cape maintained his shape. So, fantastic. And some lucky people this past week got to go to an after party with the cast 
because they were doing a fundraiser, and so all the proceeds for those tickets went to um, an organization. I'm not sure which one it was. I think it's like a Children's Mercy type thing. And so if you brought your ticket stub for attending that night, you got to go to the after party and meet the cast. And I would have loved to do that, but I was here at school, so yeah. So that's fantastic. Check out Phantom of the Opera. Terrific. Peace.